In this tutorial we will discuss cuprous oxide. Let's start with an introduction. Cuprous oxide is red oxide of copper which is insoluble in water. This red colored solid is a component of some anti-fouling paints and the compound can appear either yellow or red, depending on the size of the particles. Preparation of cuprous oxide. Cuprous oxide can be prepared in various ways. Some of the ways are as follows. Cuprous oxide can be prepared by the reduction of felling solution with the help of glucose or an aldehyde. Felling solution A contains aqueous copper sulfate solution acidified with dilute sulfuric acid and felling solution B contains sodium potassium tartarate which is known as Rochelle salt made alkaline with sodium hydroxide. On mixing felling solution A and felling solution B, blue colored solution of copper hydroxide or cupric oxide is obtained. Later on it is reduced to give a reddish brown precipitate of cuprous oxide. Cuprous oxide can be prepared by heating cupric oxide with copper as shown in the reaction. When copper is heated at about 1100 degrees Celsius then red oxide of copper is obtained. Physical properties of cuprous oxide. Cuprous oxide is a red colored powder. Cuprous oxide is insoluble in water. Chemical properties of cuprous oxide. Action of acids. Cuprous oxide reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid to give cuprous chloride which further reacts with hydrochloric acid to give a complex hydrocuprochloric acid. Usually lower and less stable oxidation states of metal are stabilized by complex formation. Action of ammonia. Cuprous oxide reacts with ammonia solution to form amine complex. Action of alkali cyanide. Cuprous oxide forms a colorless complex with alkali cyanide. Uses of cuprous oxide. Cupric oxide is used for the preparation of ruby red glass. It is used as enamel and pigment. It is used for the preparation of anti-rust paint. It is used as pesticide.